If you're not on the Obama camp, Obama. If you are on the Obama camp, yay! Happy Homebrew Wednesday. It is 7th, 7th of November. Um, apparently, Obama has got another four years, so I shouldn't do political stuff on YouTube. But um, if you're on the, if you're not on the Obama camp, Obama. If you are on the Obama camp, yay! Um, anyway, uh, obviously, hop update. Um, every week, got to do a hop update. I'm going to be excited when I see a little flower come out. Okay, so at the moment, I'm just seeing vines, and they're just getting bigger and bigger and bigger, taking over the glass house. So here's the hops. And as per usual, there's spiderwebs all over them. Uh, this one here is racing away. They're racing along the top. Oh, it's starting to get pretty bushy in here. So yeah, that's the hops. You can even get in amongst it. So here I am in the hop fields. Um, yeah, it's going to be good when they start to actually get some flowers on them and get a bit bigger. So next thing is um, haven't been brewing because of course uh, I've been concentrating on work with uh, Office Move. Um, I've got seven days to go at my current place and then I start a new job after that. Uh, but luckily I have a week off in between and I'm planning on getting a bit of brewing, a bit of brewing done in between that time. Uh, I'm down at the brew shop, I'm going to shoot down and try and put down a couple of brews that week. Um, try and get a little bit of work done around the house um, in time for Christmas and then crack back into my new job. Uh, so that'll be fun. Um, great thing about the new job, my new boss um, who I've worked with before uh, he knows I'm a brewer. I brewed up a um, uh, Thixton's Old Peculiar clone for him and he loved it. He thought it was great. He thought it was better than the original, uh, which was really, really humbling. It was it was awesome. Um, but anyway, he said, look, if you're going to, um, he said, part of your arrangement to come and work here is that you've got to provide beer. So um, I'm going to be providing um, some kegs, actually a, a, a beer engine bag. And I'm bringing my beer engine along to work, so we're going to have a hand pull at work, and probably a 20 litre bladder of beer sitting in a um, sitting in its own little cooler. So that'll be fun having our own beer on tap at work. Um, the other thing that's really good is right across the road. I think I probably said this before, but right across the road from work is a brand new bar that's opening up, and the bar is a craft pub, and I know the owner who is um, who's are going to be running that bar, so it's currently being built at the moment. And he said to me that um, I can have four of the taps in there, uh, four guest taps um, to put my own beers on. So that will be a lot of fun. Um, and that's going to happen in January, February next year. Is uh, I'll have my own little pub to um, put some beers on. So I think we will be running a beer launch every Wednesday. So Wednesday, homebrew Wednesdays might actually be in this little craft pub um, from then on going forward, which would be quite neat. But uh, anyway, I've got a little thing, a little um, uh, Peltier thing I was going to show you. Uh, I've been playing around with Peltier uh, thermoelectric plates, you know, little fridgy things. Um, and trying to sort out a nice way to, to chill um, a fermenter down. And I've had a couple of prototypes, and I've got one that I'm going to show you soon. Uh, it seems to be working quite well. Um, and yeah, that's probably about it that I've done this week. Going around with Peltier chips just to see if I can make a um, nice little refrigeration unit for some of my fermenters. So this is a heatsink. So this is a big heatsink. 
the Peltier is sitting inside there. So I have a fan to blow air through the fins here and suck away all the heat from one side of the Peltier. And on top I have another little heat sink with a fan that forces air out the end for its fins. So I'm hoping that I can suck enough air and blow it out um, to make a nice little refrigeration unit or something. So this is just a quick little model I've put together just to see how it works. It's all hooked up um, just to 12 volts. And yeah, let's give it a crack. I've got it hooked up to a real cheap thermometer. At the moment the temperatures are off just a little bit, but this one here should shoot down. This is the current table temperature, 19.3. And this is the temperature, 20 degrees, of this little probe just sitting here because I've been touching it. So let's plug it in and see what happens. Oh yeah. So both of our fans are going away. Now temperature should start to drop. Pretty quickly now. Focus it on here. Well, we, here we go. We're starting to get a drop in temperature. So the idea is that this fan unit will be inside the box. So it's sucking in and, re and recirculating its cold air and the outside will be outside. So just a standard little heat exchange unit. Happy Homebrew Wednesday, and have yourself another one. Cheers.